Hello everyone, this is Paul from OrthoEvalPal. Today I want to talk briefly about avascular necrosis of the hip. Now this is not something that you see very often, but I think you need to make sure that you, you pay attention and think about it in the back of your head when you treat patients who are having hip pain, especially those who are having difficulty flexing, adducting, and internally rotating the hip. Those are often signs of femoral acetabular impingement, which could include pincer or cam lesions or even arthritis of the hip. But um, we have seen some folks in the past who um, have developed avascular necrosis, which is loss of vascularity to the head and neck of the femur. And basically the bone becomes necrotic and dies off um, and can you know, ultimately fracture um, with very little activity. So some of the things to keep in the back of your mind you know, when you're evaluating your patient, if you're somewhat suspicious of this, is um, getting an x-ray is very important. Okay, Not only will it identify these lesions we talked about earlier, but it can identify the beginnings of avascular necrosis. Ask questions like, um, have you had any excessive steroid use recently? Or, um, you know, ask about alcohol consumption. Heavy use of, of alcohol can uh, run you, you know, at a high risk of developing an avascular necrosis of the hip. So making sure that you um, keep that in the back of your head when you're evaluating a patient just to make sure that they don't have that developing because that can turn into a really bad deal um, if it does end up uh, fracturing and uh, causing problems. So uh, just a couple things to think about uh, when you're seeing your patients who have uh, the common loss of flexion, adduction, internal rotation, who have signs of arthritis and femoral acetabular impingement, something else to think about. So if you have any questions about that, please feel free and uh, leave a comment, leave a question uh, in, our, uh, in the bottom of the uh, show notes here. And um, I will uh, certainly leave some videos, some extra videos for you to look at related to um, acetab femoral acetabular impingement type issues. Thanks.